Hello everyone, my name is SPIC23 here for a Katarian module tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering the flavor text and flavor text EX modules. And both of these modules um, revolve around flavor texts. Uh, flavor texts are a little like subtext and holy crap I got a bad bomb. Uh, let me actually get a different one. So flavor text in manuals are these little pieces of subtext below or most commonly found below on the subject of the module name. Uh, there are some ma manuals but a few of them that are in different places and um, but they pretty much all have the same thing. They're smaller than the rest of the manual, they're italicized and they're often just there just for a splash text or flavor text. The flavor text for the module flavor text is you have been made useful. So on the flavor text module, we have a flavor text. Don't look at this manual too long, or you will actually go blind. The first thing you need to do is identify which module has that flavor text. I do happen to know it. It is visual impairment. I'm using the alternate seat so you won't actually go blind from this manual. As you can see, it matches visual impairment. Um, now, next thing we need to do is find visual impairment on the bomb. If it is on the bomb, we press yes, and if not, we press no. In this case, we don't have a visual impairment on the bomb, so we press no. There we go. That's a solved module. Pretty easy. Let's take this to another dimension. Pretty sure that's the flavor text for 3D tunnels. Yep, it is. Do we have a 3D tunnels on the bomb? We don't. Okay, next. Maybe there were Christmas lights in a previous life. I'm not too sure of this flavor text, actually. Uh, one thing to note about flavor text is that they can include needy, so that's why I have all this needy search on. Um, but another thing is that if you don't know the flavor text, there are a few options um, that you can use to find the flavor text. Uh, for flavor text, the first thing you can do is find the flavor text of the rest of the models on the bomb. So, let's see. Boolean wires. I don't expect it to. Nope. Simon Star. Nope. Time zone. Nope. Screens. Nope. Sonic. Nope. Stained glass. Nope. Graphic memory. Nope. Adjacent letters. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Nope. Actually, trans auto translated. Um, now, one thing about translated modules, I'm pretty sure they either will. Actually, no, they will not look at the same flavor text. They will have a translated flavor text. For example, if you had like password or something. Uh, if you go to the German version of password, which is. Um, as you can see, the flavor text is in German. Uh, but another thing I should mention that I should have mentioned earlier is that van even vanilla modules have flavor text. And other thing I want to mention is find the flavor text for stuff like divided squares. As you can see, the flavor text is actually down here. Um, that's done on purpose, probably, just for kicks and giggles. Um, but that's still the model's flavor text nonetheless. Anyway, I already checked all this, and we know it's on the bomb, so you can press now. And uh, another thing we could do is guess. If you, if the bomb's like too big, for example, and you can't look at all the flavor text in the bomb, what you can do is just guess. Um, let's look at flashing lights. Uh, nope. Um, light cycle. Nope. Lights out. Might be a Simon module then. Um, I actually don't know what it could be. <laughs> uh, what, regardless, we didn't know exactly what module it was. We just need to know if, if any of the existing models were that flavor text. And in this case, they weren't. All right, now as I'm loading the next bomb here to use for this tutorial, um, now there's a few methods that you can find the flavor text of modules in a big list. If you go down to tools here, you can click on download merged PDF for current filter. And that would give you a PDF of literally every single original manual um, in the repository, including Needy's. And you can use Control F to find um, 
um, to find the flavor text. However, um, when I tried to do that earlier, it actually took like 10 minutes. Um, so definitely don't do that uh, if you <laughs> don't have a good PC. And I have a good PC and it still took 10 minutes. Anyway, um, oh, look at that. I just met, we just looked at that module slave attack. That's divided squares. Uh, nope. Um, so let's say if I don't know what this flavor text is, I could guess maybe it's um, needy alpha. Um, nope. And it down is this either. And yeah. So let's say I don't know what this flavor text is. Um, I'm just looking through all of these just to see if I find it. Um, <laughs> I don't know like all these favorite texts. Um, so, um, oh, that's the. Oh yeah, um, optimized seats or different seats um, are gonna may have different flavor texts than the original seats. Um, so it it pairs about the flavor text for the original seat, even though of course I use the one for that manual. Um, let's see if I can find it. All right, so this is a sheet made by members of the community. Um, it's not the most up to date, though. Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure if there's another one that is more recent, but um, but this will show you all the flavor texts in order and the models that go with them. So if I control F, the word on the screen is Alpha Lima Fox Red Alpha. That is Detonado. That's not what I would have expected, though. But we can go check Detonado. Yep, it is. Uh, do we have Dead Danino on this bomb? We don't. Alright, there we go. Now, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Now, let's say if I press the wrong button and make a mistake. I get a strike and it shows me a new flavor text. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just vanilla Morse code. Yep, it is. So yeah, I can pick vanillas, as I mentioned earlier. We don't have any vanillas on this bomb. And there we go. Simple and easy, right? Well, now we're gonna turn that on its head with Flavor Text EX. So this is Flavor Text EX. Uh, it looks very similar to the original Flavor Text. However, instead of a yes and no button on the right, we have numbered buttons on the right. So, um, let's look at this one. Um, I actually don't know this. So the first thing you need to do is, like regular Flavor Text, you need to find a what module this flavor text is. I'm gonna go look in here again because I don't know it. I would have guessed Colorful Madness, so it's Colorful Insanity. Makes sense because I don't know the module. I would have not seen this flavor text. So we have Colorful Insanity. So, as you can see, this bomb only contains flavor text axes, but what do we do here? So, so on the repository, um, next to a module, we have um, colorful insanity is not a best good example. Uh, let's go find. Let's just do this one. 101 Dalmatians. There are four links right here. This one leads to the manual. This one leads to the Steam Workshop page for the item. Here we have the source code, and here's the tutorial video. And many times, if you have it def um, by default, if you click on the module name, it will send you to the manual. But you can set it to change it to. Um, whatever here, but we're not going to worry about that. What we just need to know is that we're going to click on the Steam Workshop page for the item. So now we have the Steam Workshop page for Colorful Insanity. Um, now we need to take this ID and the URL up here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over here. I'm just going to get out of Steam. So now we have this ID number from the Steam Workshop page. Um, what you need to do is we're going to, uh, any instances of duplicate numbers, we're going to remove any duplicates and only keep the first of that. So in this case, we have 16393. Three. We already have a 3, so we're going to remove that one. Same here. And 4. For 9, we already have a 9, so we can get rid of that. And we already have a 4. So we have no duplicates, but still have all the digits present in the exact order that they were in at the first appeared in, the first instance of the number gets the priority. So now we have 163945. And then we look at the module. We, f we find if any of these buttons have the number. So, do we have a 1 button? No. Do we have 6? Yep. That's it. Do we have 3? Nope. 
Do you have nine? Nope. Do you have four? Nope. Do you have five? Yes, you do. So now, um, we've been to the whole ID number, but we still have more buttons to press. Press the remaining buttons in any order. And, yep, this module is three stages. Um, probably this was the case because um, this module actually came without a manual and people had to figure it out. I'm not too sure if they figured it out or not, um, but, um, yep, okay, good, I got it right. Um, but that could be why it's three stages. I'm not too, I'm not saying that for sure, but that's just what I think. Anyway, countdown. Uh, find a Steam page for countdown. The ID is um, this, and another thing you can do is we can just take the ID number, get out of Steam, and we can just read this out as an expert to the diffuser. Okay, so you have one, five, five, eight, one, nine, and now we know we press three buttons, so we can press the last button. And oh, hey, my module, nice. That's a mistake. Um, uh, quick plug to the um, the uh, origin of this flavor text. It's from a song by a Tutsu class. It's really good. Anyway, um, so back to taking this. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to leave Steam, but we all you need to do is find the ID in the URL. That's all you really need to do. So as an expert, as an expert, I'm reading one seven five six five seven three zero eight eight and that's a solve module so yeah um if the diffuser knows what they're doing they can just it's kind of like who's on first they just press the buttons as they hear them and another thing you can do as the expert is you know you've already set a number um then you can you don't have to say the next number and of course, if the number was on the module, uh, you can't press the same button twice. Um, anyway, uh, I actually don't know this one. Why are the zeros? As you can see, this this is a little outdated, so it's newer than pretty sure it's in a sequence. I don't know if there's an updated one. I'll go ask later in the in the contained Discord server, but I'm not too sure um, what this is. So now I have to just guess again. Um, Better yet, I'm just gonna go do this one. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Yep. So um, the ID for this is one six six zero. And as you can see, uh, you can't press the same button twice, otherwise you get a strike. And uh, another thing is, if you input or you press the wrong button, it will also get a strike, and you'll get a new flavor text. Uh, let's look at this one. Is this core qualities? Core progressions. Yep, it is core progressions. Um, so another thing is, so let's say it's one eight three. Let's say I press two. That's wrong because the first one would be one, and the module resets. We get a new flavor text. I wonder what shape I would input today. Shape shift. Nope. Shape memory. Shapes and bombs. Yep, shapes and bombs. Okay, and um, that would be one six one nine nine four nine. There we go. Now um, another thing is, um, let's say if I were to get, I don't think I have any of these in this bomb right now, but let's say if I were to get something like Forget Me Not. Now Forget Me Not isn't a pack Hexes Advanced Space Modules. Um, now, any, this also contains other models. As you can see, Forgive Me Not, Simon Stage, Safety Safe Plumbing, Rotary, more schematics. Um, if any models are in like a pack like this, um, all you need to do is find the Steam Workshop ID for the pack itself. Um, not a lot of models do this, but uh, for those that do, just look at the pack, or the original Steam item that it comes from. Another thing is, this can still pick Vanillas. Now, Vanillas, or base models, like Simon says, um, don't have um, a Steam item because they are part of the game, and of course they don't have source code. Um, so in this case, whenever you get a vanilla, um, you can press all the buttons in any order. Essentially, it just doesn't have an ID to choose from, and therefore just reads nothing for the ID, and you can just press the remaining buttons in any order. So that's how Flavor Text TX works. Um, 
as you can see it is three stages and it honestly isn't too hard but you like I said right here unlike foreign exchange rates where it can work if you don't have an internet connection you will need an internet connection or have a table like this but probably more up to date than this one um, I'm not too sure um, uh, there is one I think there is um, but I'll leave a link to that one in the description and if I find a better one I'll link that one instead of this video now there is one more module that is similar to this called insane talk and I'm gonna cover it in another video which should be up right after this one and um, it kind of has a similar premise to flavor text DX so um, if you want to find out about distinguishing this module from insane talk then maybe you should watch the tutorial for insane talk but otherwise um, that's all I'm gonna be doing for this tutorial so thank you guys for watching and as always keep talking and don't explode.